With the slim lander, Japan has made space history, becoming the fifth nation to execute a soft touchdown on the lunar surface. But you can tell from the faces at Mission Control that while they made the landing, they didn't exactly nail it. The, the solar cell is not generating electricity at this point in time. What went wrong? Possibly the lander failed to settle the right way up, like in this animation, and its solar panels are pointing at the lunar surface instead of the sun. But they're talking to their probe, and it successfully deployed two miniature rovers equipped with cameras which could, in the coming days, reveal what's happened and whether it achieved its key objective, demonstrating a precise landing for future lunar prospecting. While moon rock might not look very exciting, it contains rare minerals, and also on certain parts of the moon's surface, water ice. And if you want to exploit that for a future lunar base, for example, you'd need to land as close as possible to where those mineral deposits are. And it's that accuracy that the SLIM mission is trying to demonstrate. Unless they can restore power, it's unlikely SLIM will be able to fulfil its mission. But JAXA, Japan's space agency, has done better than others in the current race for the moon. In May, a privately funded Japanese probe crashed. In August, Russia's Luna 25 also failed to stick its landing. Days later, India's Chandrayaan-3 ended the run of bad luck, successfully touching down. But this week, a commercial American mission fell back to Earth, never making it to the moon. But there are more to follow. It's become marginally more affordable to send things to space, not just because there are more rockets and more capacity to launch things now, but also because computer equipment has gotten so much better. Japan has joined an exclusive club of lunar pioneers, but it could be weeks before we know just how successful it's been. Tom Clark, Sky News.